I'm trying to, I'll just put dot, 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 because I'm trying to figure out this internet. I'm trying to figure out this internet. <laughs> the internet. It is the same issue of the internet. Is is the same issue of the internet. But I have no idea, guys. You need to bear with me. You guys need to bear with me. Because the internet in this place is, is unlike any other internet you've ever seen. I want for it to be easier, it's better to warm it in the, in the kettle. Sorry, you guys. I went to bring this uh, tripod, and both of us just came back because. We were not home. We just came back. Hello. It's you guys, you are there. Hello, guys. Have you seen Tata? Today I have Tata. Tata. What's Tata? Satas. Today I have put on Wanda Bra. Huh? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another video. I'm preparing dinner. So I wanted to prepare dinner whilst I'm with you guys. Because yesterday, yesterday I was, um, yesterday I was, Yesterday, yesterday I was on live. These dogs. Yesterday or the other day? Yesterday. It was yesterday. Yeah. It was yesterday that I was live, and then it went off. No, the other day. The live went off because I, I don't know if it was yesterday or late. I'm, I'm, I'm not good. With Yes. Oh, yesterday we didn't have electricity at home here. It was raining. So do we in the auto wheel and we found ourselves? Pull the ledge, I can see. Cut a two. What am I cooking? Ugali. We don't need any other bigger door. The kick it. Seriously? Uh, one day, 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 one was sleeping in my room one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, then, after you urinate, after you urinate, no, she 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 was always waking up and end up urinate. Pale kwa mat matini ko kwa bafuyan. Oh, and I love when I would turn. You have to follow up with the dogs. They can be trained, but you really have to follow up with the dogs. Okay, she managed to cut her nini when she urinate. Tawi, tawi. Oh, that's lovely one. Mm. Guys, Tawi has grown. Okay, all my puppies have grown. Woo! All my puppies have grown, but Tawi has grown extra. I want you guys to see Tawi. <laughs> Tawi is like a fluffy ball. It's like a fluffy ball. Even his face cannot be seen properly. I don't know what Tavi is eating. Oh, have you guys seen my nails? 
no I'm cooking ugali. I'm going to see my nails today. I did this yellow mustard. Is it mustard, mustard or what? And then this blue. Oh yay! I like it. I'm trying to to practice on how to to use long nails to do stuff here. Bayo was telling me that she wants to test my cooking. Yeah. I haven't cooked since she came in. <laughs> since she came, I wouldn't give her to cook. She didn't say hello to you guys. Yes, yeah, she didn't say hello. Bow there. She's getting punished. Kiki, you, you know, Kiki doesn't know how to be patient. Uh, Junior can be so patient. <laughs> Good job, job. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Kiki jumping everywhere. Junior is like, okay, where are you? With you? Whatever you want him to be is where he will be. Kiki will be weakering. Kiki is a woman, for sure. Always bickering. Tuna just pinda ni uza ni ni mekorore. Ngani ape edi? Ngani manya nangu? Ngadija. Mm -hmm. What? What? Who? Who is it? Hey. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We think 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 we he has my money, he's not done it. See, I thought you were giving out free. free, free. No, 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 no. If you ask me for money and then you say that you will return, you return. Unless if I tell you it's fine, don't return it. I have no idea. The one crying is it Kiki for sure? Ebu mfunguli arom rom apo inje asingi apa dani, but just to roam around. Guys, I have a very a very spoiled spoiled dog. Oh, what time is it in Kenya? 8.30. Hi, Sasa. Been a while. Sijakupata ukiwa love. Aki seeing you made 
this ugali make me so jealous had to leave my unga kwa airport flying out oh my goodness ah oh, guys hello here is the shy lady yes. violet this is violet <laughs> hello guys tawi look at tawi tawi is very fluffy tawi tawi isi ame ada kuja Anashaka tunamfanya nini na Tawi? Sis my Tawi. Tawi, see people, you have to say hello to people. Tawi? Oh. Tawi is very very cute, but absolutely shy. Tawi is very shy. Tawi? Good boy. Good boy, Tawi. Good boy. This one is Tawi. Good boy. Did you see the peeps? Did you see the peeps? Tawi has become very big. Yes, I know. But they haven't been given the second job, which I will. Tawi is very shy. Tawi don't pee there. Don't pee on my kitchen counter. But I have to take them outside so that they can play. They play there outside until we, we bring you guys in. Sorry you guys I was washing my hand after handling the dog. Yeah. Ugali ni chome. Wow. It has become very very hard now. Imagine I did not even put too much unga. So you may take a look. I'm making Kenyan staple food ugali. Maize flour. We made it. We make it with maize flour. It's called corn in my land, in my mother tongue. And ugali. I don't know what's the name in 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 English. I think it's pal. Pal. Not ugali. It's, it's in English. So in English it's called. I don't know what to call it. Oh. Ah, You guys, now that the internet has has not has been has not, is not acting up, let me talk to you guys. Yesterday I was talking about business, what not? People, I don't know, I don't understand why, but somehow there is a. Um, I saw on on my like you know my my area like the estate that I live in there is a whatsapp group a uh, no not whatsapp group there is a, a a a facebook page for this estate that I live in and they were just um they were just uh, someone was mentioned <coughs> someone said that they've noticed that in businesses in this area there is a lot of jealousy in businesses and i was just like yes i'm actually feeling it simply because i came to, um, to do business next to people who already have had uh, the same business going on and they are very uh, they are extremely successful and there was only one base where Ladies were flocking. They were doing nails there. Then I suddenly appeared from nowhere and I also set up. 
a nail, nail, nail spa. So they haven't really told me directly that they are unhappy, but you can see by their demeanor. But then I'm just thinking to myself, another lady was just telling me, she also has a business there, and she was just telling me, every day when you come in to work, pray, pray, pray at your, to your business, and also when you're closing, you pray. And that is what she, she usually does. So for me, I'm like, I really don't, I think that God is the one who actually gave me the idea of this business. So I really, I know that, yeah, there's some wicked powers and all that. Someone was commenting on my video about witchcraft and whatnot. But me, I don't want to dwell on it. I don't want to like be afraid because I believe that if you, if you are paranoid and you are afraid about something, that is when it, it follows you. So I don't want to um, to be paranoid over that. I just want to um, to work and go home at the end of the day. I really don't want to focus on such things. So long as God has seen my heart, and God knows that my heart is pure, and God knows that I want to earn genuine money and I am working to earn this genuine money, hard earned money. It's not like I'm, I'm lazing around and uh, looking for men to support me or whatnot. I'm working for my money. I'm open to working for my money. So I believe that God sees my heart more than anything else. And it is the passion that I have for, for doing nails. Uh, and that is enough. So each day when I go to work, I know it's the temptation is there to sometimes feel feel um, feel bad with the fact that as in I want to use this to to uh, to need my glasses before I wear them. Yeah, guys, the temptation is temptation is there to feel bad, especially when sometimes the customers are flocking one place and your place is uh, they're not flocking as much. Sometimes you can feel bad. But I try to not let it... Um, I try to keep... Uh, a positive attitude, knowing that whatever is mine will be mine, whatever is theirs will be theirs at the end of the day. So I have not tampered. I don't think I've tampered with, tampered with the with the, my competitors' um, customer base. I've not tampered with them because they still just my place is not yet popular. Many people haven't noticed, but whenever ladies come to my salon, they always uh, say that that they have no idea that they didn't have any idea that the salon existed, and they are like, "My goodness, I had no idea that this salon existed," you know. So they are just saying that they. The majority of the people who are giving me hope are, to be honest, my clients. They always say that keep at it so long as if you are doing a good job, you will definitely attract um, attract uh, good customers. So don't worry. She was just saying, don't worry about anything. Just do your job, and and uh, your customer will just follow you automatically. That is what she was saying. And that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm not focusing too much on what is happening around me. 
at first, when I first opened, I was really, really, really sad about the fact that Hakuna Royko Apa. Why? Royko, I don't have a Royko in the house. Don't want to put too much salt. Let me have been cooking. We've been eating so much salt because Violet has no idea how to measure salt. So she always puts extra. Yeah. <laughs> She's saying I can hear you. I can hear you. Um. um um, telling them, maybe close that door, that window, that door, that window, because so your mosquitoes are getting in. Let me see if their owner is on on live. Maybe she wants to see them. No, she's not here. Jado. If Jado was here, then I would tell you they are they are the their yeah, owner is not on that. You That guy wants us to call him, call him. Do you know what nowadays I do? I only to attack. My baby says more, they always in your work on that. Oh, I tell you, the same, that's the only one that I shower because when I open the shower, I use a lot of water and the water bill is coming too high for my liking. I want the water bill to go down back to 700. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My food is ready. I have not put some salt. Now I need to hide myself while eating. I, actually, I need to I need to switch off the live while eating because people the naysayers will complain that you are eating on the live. <laughs> I need to stop it. But just invite them to come and eat with me. Yeah. <laughs> I warn you, I have not put salt, I put only juice. I don't need salt like this. The dogs are growling. That's the dinner, guys. I didn't. I didn't put salt. I know you really like salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Akina nani ya pe? That is that is what they like. Kiki, that's nice. Hey, hey, warm. Let me see what you guys are saying so that I can turn off and eat my food in peace. Oh, watu wengine wajifanya ni wazungu sana. Yes, they pretend to be foreigners. Actually, why am I even worried about them? Who are they? Who are they? Forget it. I will eat my ugali. If they don't like, they can go watch uh, Baba Tunde or Nigerian movies. Hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, man. Someone is saying, don't go. I didn't make Kushinda. This one specifically. Mm -hmm. Skuma ugali mixed with, with some. Now you can dislike my video all you want. Yes, I'm eating ugali. Mm, I'm eating ugali on the camera. So, let me not focus on these people. So, I tell to myself, you know what? God is the only one who gave me the idea of this business. So far, I'm not complaining, you guys. It's doing okay. It's not where I want it to be at the moment. But it's not bad. Like, it's not, it's not behind, you know? I don't want to compare myself with, with people who are having 15, 14 clients per day. I'm not there yet. <clears throat> but whichever clients I have, <clears throat> a client would just come in for eye eyebrows, for me to trim for them eyebrows. And then they would just, the way I would talk to them, they just ask me, can I do my feet and hands as well? From nowhere, you know? I don't know. And then we make stories the whole entire session. Mm -hmm. Put off. What? Hold on. I make stories the entire session with them. I try to do a good job. The rest I leave to I leave to God. So far, I don't want to complain. I'm not complaining, honestly. Soccer. Let me read, and then I log off. Mm, greetings from Suriname. Me, what is Suriname? Hi, Ruben. Norway. Hey, you guys are everywhere. Someone is in Norway. Sheila, you are from Ireland. I know for sure. I know. I know. Beatrice Macharium. Hello. Today I'm not even seeing anointed prayer on the video on the video, but I'm sure she'll catch up later. Um someone is saying really happy Mother's Day, Ruby. Daisy second mom. I'm not a mother. Thank you. I'm not a mother, but if you say so, okay. You know, 
Anybody who will comment on my video and complain that I'm eating, I'm going to block you and re remove you. Because my channel is about this one, eating, making dinner and eating and talking. So I don't know why you would you would come to somebody's mukbang video and say you you hate it. Mm. Hey, Lynn Pinksy, you left your unga. What? I don't know which country you are in, but you can still get um, the South African one, even though it's over processed. Or you can also use Samolina. Me, I prefer Samolina better than this one. The one that we have, in, we used to have in the Emirates was very nice. It was better than this one. Tasty. Bentel is saying, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Uh, Beatrice is saying, I like your nails. The baby blue and navy blue is very nice. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> It's clear to me, it's not blurry or fuzzy, it's just dark. But kila mtu akona bahati yake, mbona sisi wa Afrika tuko hivi, niwivu tu, uendangi mbele, aki jamani. But you know, the thing is, everybody have opportunity to, to earn money at the end of the day. So long as you have your shop and you, you're offering services, you have an opportunity. People will definitely get in, inside your shop. I mean, there is room for everybody to earn something hmm? in, that, in that street. So I don't know why there are people who would feel like any form of jealousy. For what reason? Nowadays, I just keep to myself. I do my work and come back home. If I don't have a client, I do my own nails. Like today, what I did. I did this after the client left. Because I also have to showcase um, my work. Yesterday, I had a client come into my shop and she was underestimating me. By the end of the, the session, she was like, wow, so nice. I'm not yet perfect, but I'm better, way better. Mano, uyo ni nani amefundishwa kulialia uvi uvi? I'm an opinion. I have dogs who think that they are humans. Mm. Uh, Sheila is telling me to open whenever I open I pray when I close I pray I don't pray <clears throat> I'm very bad at that but I need to learn you're right Channel. Channel. Hmm. Why? 
Chanel and Gucci. Oh, Chanel. Mm. Chanel and Gucci. Mm. Wanna depend on it. You want to They're beaten, but they are crying for what? They want to come inside the house. This jealousy amongst our own people is very bad. The Asians and other folks set up their businesses close to to each other in the same streets in Europe, USA. They don't mind the competition. <laughs> they should they should they should be worried because I am really coming up. <laughs> They should really be worried. I think so. They are only worried because they know they've seen the, my work. Mashiba Sasa. Hmm, Mashiba. You have noticed you eat very little. I'm the one who eats majority of food in this house. Mm. Why do you eat so little? Mm. You don't. You've learned to eat very little because you have. You know, today I only ate nuts and I drank water. I said I'm not going to eat Baji anymore. No. I want to have carbs, but not not ma to mafuta. Unnecessary fats is not acceptable for me. But I, I don't want to lose my carbs, though. See what you don't get. Hey, they know me. They know that I'm very random. I do as I please. I do I do as I please. Um, let me tell you this, Ruby. Only and only God atakupa riziki. Binadamu ni wivu tu. Was you pay stress, focus on your job, don't listen, Kabisa. You know what I'm saying? To, I was saying they have more than 15 clients per day. There are two. And I don't have even half of what they are having. But still, they are feeling threatened. For what reason? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Me, I only get my back sushi, you know? The, <laughs> the, 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 the customers. No, they are afraid. Because you are so pretty. Stop! <laughs> you now you're making my head swell. <laughs> no. That's not the case. 
you know, last week, because I hadn't had the foot spa with massaging function, you know that thing, that tab, the one that, the portable tab, the one that you put the foot inside and massage. The one that uses the electricity, you know that? Mm -hmm. I didn't have it. Then a lady, oh, thanks. A lady came and the lady was like, Ungeza. Okay. I saw what, where, why, you are okay. The lady came to my shop and she was like, I want to do my foot, but I want the machine. Do you have that machine? She wanted to do her foot and her, her hands. But she only wanted them if she, she wanted only to do, but only if I had the machine. Then I said, I don't have. She walked straight past me and went to those guys because they have that machine. Then when I was passing, I saw her being done there. And I felt, in a sense of, I felt like, wow, I need that machine because otherwise she could have just been my, my client. So anyway, I purchased it. I purchased it. I just did, you know, in Kenya nowadays, a lot of people, there's a lot of conning going on, you know, like um, scam, especially people posing as buyers, as in sellers online. But Google, I went to Google and searched, searched for salon supply shop. And then I found one that seemed very legit. So I called the number that was on Google and then they had what I was looking for and they said they can deliver. Because I was thinking I'm alone in the shop and I cannot close, go to town, you know? Because you know, from my place to going to town, it needs you to have a full day free because you cannot go to town and then come back and do your business. I mean, town is very hectic. By the time you get the bus back with the, with the jam, it's already well, a day is already finished. So I was just thinking, well, how am I going to get this thing? Because I don't want to go to town. But I, I just followed my instincts, trusted these people I got from online. I paid them, they, they delivered. Remember, you have to pay fast. So I paid fast. It's very risky though. You don't pay fast in Kenya. It's good to pay on delivery. But because I saw that their business was very established, and this lady, the one that I called, she was telling me that she supplies the majority of salons around me, so I should be just okay. I should I should not be afraid. And then she was mentioning all the salons that she has supplied that I know. She said, for me to supply it, you have to send me money first. I send money by faith. But obviously the money was, um, the, the, the thing got delivered. Otherwise in Kenya, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, it's not advisable. It is really not advisable. Some... No, thank you. I have eaten dinner. That's done. L. L, thank you. Can you ask Violet if she, she's going to take the nail course? It's one more skill in life that will only benefit her. Yes. 
Violet keeps changing her mind. The other week she was like, I want to do something else with my life. I don't want, I don't, I don't like this nail thing. I'm not into nails. Then this week again, she said, yeah, actually I changed my mind. Let me just do it. I told her, you better stick to your, to your stance. She's laughing. So yes, you want to learn. I told her, if I train you and then you, you leave me Kwabata, hmm? that will be really wrong. Hmm? No, this this Nairobi girls, they are very hot blooded. Yeah, I'm not a Nairobi girl. You are a Nairobi girl, my dear. Hmm? You got educated here, you, as in you went to school in Nairobi. You are a Nairobi girl. So anyway, she learned. And somebody else also said that they want to come and another lady, she wants to come to train in my salon. So it's just that the salon is so small, I don't have space. But if they are ready to do it, why not? I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, Kunini. It's just that today I don't have the tools. I could have shown her. And, but I showed her. The virus, I showed you a little bit. You have a little bit of, of, yeah. of, of knowledge. The problem is keeping the tips. Oh, the, the, those ones. Yeah. You have to, but you have to learn. You haven't done them physically for you to, to have a problem. No, they are not difficult. You cannot have a difficult. You are the one who was always telling me <laughs> to have this attitude of it's difficult, it's difficult. So now you're doing it as well. It's okay. Even me still, I cannot, I don't know how to do coffin shape. Coffin shape is this shape. Mm -hmm. I tried, but it, it didn't come out as coffin. This is not real coffin. And the shopper one. This is supposed to be, all, oh, it's, it's a, I wanted to do oval, but it came out, I, I'm almond, but it came out as oval. These things, all of them, you can learn them, you know, on YouTube. You learn on YouTube, and then physically, you need to have someone to. Me, what I was really afraid of at first was kutoa cuticles. Mm, with a machine? No, to cut. No. To cut, you know? You push, you push back with that. I don't know what it's, it's called. You push back this one. push Mm, that one you push back and then you'll see these white things coming out these white things mm -hmm. so these white things are dead dead skin and then once you push them back push them back you now start cutting but you cut very careful those ones I used to be very afraid see I didn't want to cut someone, so I was very slow in that. But now I like doing it. It's okay. It's okay. By the way, Shamim, after Shamim. Mm. one line. Yeah. Let me see. I think she's on duty. She's asking about Shamim. No, Shamim is not here. Mm. Why? You wanted to say hello to me? Yeah, and let me thank her. I didn't know her phone. Hey, show me. Yeah. <laughs> Why haven't you shown yeah. me? You just, I you guys, that. you guys, I want to shout out a friend, a lovely lady. This lady, I keep talking, I'm raving, raving about her. I, I know I keep raving about her. You remember a time when, when, when uh, shopping was brought here, and the Christmas tree, and you know, shopping during Christmas holidays. That day, I don't know if you guys watched that live when I was carrying shopping and I was so excited. Shamim is the one who sent me this shopping, okay? So Shamim sent me this uh, bought online, and she lives in Canada. She bought this shopping and supplied us for shopping worth four months. Hey! 
Wango mbaya. So what happened was, Shamim again, uh, because I was raving about uh, Violet. I was telling Vi her Violet is nice, uh, blah, 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 and all that. And then she sent money. She sent me money and said I need to give it to Violet to thank her for being a good girl and for being obedient and for helping me around the house and for for like um, for keeping me company, you know. And Violet went and bought a phone. <laughs> so the, the the money that she sent, I gave it. Why is it not on? How much is this one? And personally, Nisa Gidolu. <laughs> oh, so that's really nice. And at least, yes, that's why you make a note. I think so. I think so. I think so. But you need more Ah. Oh, that's a very good one. So she gave her the money and she added a little bit and I got a phone because she's been talking about her phone is, is her phone even if you call her, she she cannot she cannot uh, hear, you know. So I think she's given away that phone. It's a very bogus phone. <laughs> yeah. So now she's already bought a phone. So, because that's why I always tell her, don't be shy. Participate in these lives. Hmm? Participate in these lives because you know Shamim how I met Shamim. It's through here. Huh? Yes. What you doing? Yeah, it's raining. How I met Shamim? I met Shamim through YouTube. And Shamim is amazing. Oh my goodness, she's a very nice girl. Uh, guys, I've, it's not like I'm not. I'm saying honestly. I'm just saying it's a blessing. How people because of this YouTube, I've been blessed a lot. People have blessed me some financially, some well wishing, some everything. You know, I have another lady also. She's also in Europe. She pay, she paid for my driving school. Also, one of my subscribers. She paid for my driving school. I have my driving license now. I can drive. I'm just waiting for the money to get to get the car. <laughs> hey, God is good. Yeah. Hey, Jesus. So this lady also paid for my driving school. Sent me some some goodie from because uh, a friend of his of hers was um, was coming from Europe to Kenya. She sent some few stuff for me to get them. You know, I went and uh, I sent Violet. Actually, Violet went and got them. I have another one in Taiwan who sent me some goodies. I'm like, what? Who am I? Like, seriously, what? So exciting. So anywho, guys, still we have people out here who are who are generous. Let's let's just let's let let me just tell you that for free. Do not give up on humanity. Okay, we still have. I'm just a very simple small YouTuber. If I'm the simple small YouTuber and people, some people are kind enough to do such for me, people, people, you know. So what about the big YouTubers who have millions plus following? How many people usually flock them to for, you know, especially if they have a, a kid and they document it, people send, send, you know, YouTube. YouTube usually is a very nice place. So I'm very excited about that. Tupe number yako pia sisi rubi tukulete chochote. Nice. <laughs> so Shamim, Shamim, she's a Muslim and for her it's like giving spirit. She's got a very big giving spirit, that girl. She's got a giving spirit. And I was trying to dodge. She always, she, she at first she wanted to send money for Daisy to go to the hospital. I told her, man, you've done enough, come on. You've done enough. You've sent us a lot of shopping. You've done this and that. La. I told her, because the shopping that she got us was like very big shopping. Okay. So I said, uh, uh, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. So I keep dodging every time. But every time she, 
she calls me and sometimes we talk on video call and she tell me no i asked you to send me the number because i i want to send money so that you can take daisy to the hospital so i was like come on no it's okay then i took daisy to the hospital then after taking daisy to the hospital of course i i, I use i use my money for that then again now violet came and she started again saying you know she have a need to bless someone and i'm refusing because she wants to she wants to give for the sake of you know she have a need to do it and i should not stop stop uh, you know be afraid of letting her so i give her i wanted to give her violet's number so that she can just send it straight to violet say no 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 i want to send it to you and she sent it to me guys i am i i cannot take money that does not belong to me i believe in what belongs to me okay so when she sent me that money i wired it straight to her okay i believe in in only eating what belongs to me if it's not mine i don't i don't take it so i sent it to her and now she she have a brand new phone <laughs> it is if this was here this could cry because you know this is the one who was supposed to get the phone ah shamim was supposed to buy her phone <laughs> but she was supposed to perform This is lying to you. Don't believe anything that Daisy says to you. This is lying. You don't mean Shamim bought a phone then he took you a picture. This is a liar. You guys listen to what this lady is telling me. Daisy told her that Shamim bought her a phone. I took it and and hide it. This is a pathological liar. What the hell? No, that's a lie. <laughs> Daisy was supposed to get a phone, but only if she got a B. Shamim said this time akifunga shule atamnulia simu. But then I had told Shamim, please don't get her phone because she's very not okay. I don't want her to go online and start getting getting uh, numbers and start calling random people because she's very fast. Kichwa yake inaenda haraka sana. So I told Shamim no 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 I really don't want to uh, for you to get her phone. Then Shamim did not. She did not get her phone. Uh, yeah, she said she bought her. Shamim sent the money then he went and got the phone. Just the 7000. I don't think like that. Aki mungu Daisy is a liar. Yes. Then No, that's a lie. Get it from me. Get it from me before God. I cannot do that. <laughs> Get it from me before God. Daisy is a liar. I don't believe anything that Daisy. I actually I'm very sorry that I that I believed everything that 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 Daisy that Daisy was telling me about her mom now because if she can lie about me like that that I was given money to buy her phone and I took the phone away where when was I given that money? I don't know. I wasn't here. No, she's lying. Get it from me. <laughs> she's lying. Baby. Uh Sheila is saying she's a Muslim too and we are sisters I know you are dear tupe namba yako pia sisi ruby tukulete chocolate chochote yeah okay i will give you my number Sheila Ah uh, Beatrice Masharia wow Shamim that is so nice of you be blessed god bless Shamim today she's Amen. not on live yeah. mm. wow that's nice of Shamim and um, yes it was Shamim list the name of your nail salon on social media you will get a lot of clients yes i will i will okay i will list, list my name but you guys on instagram majority of people who follow me there are not even they are not even from kenya they are majority of people who are in europe i, I suppose I, i think so So if I ask them to and plus the ladies who came for me when I was doing nail tech course the ladies who came from my cha- from my channel or what not they live far they cannot just take you know transport commute from wherever they are to come to my shop all the way here because I was having a conversation with them and I was telling them I'm actually opening in such and such a place but still I'll give you guys um, I'll give you guys a nini. And also I don't know why it's because sometimes also I'm very skeptical about giving my information of my workplace because I I I don't want some crazy people to 
to come all the way to harm for the sake of harming or something. Guys, people are crazy online, right? So sometimes I feel a bit afraid. Um, everyone needs a Shamim in their life. You guys, Shamim is amazing. You need to pray for a Shamim. <laughs> I want Shamim. I want Shamim to come and I want Shamim to find land near me and come and be my sister. My my like live near me. <laughs> She's very cool, my God. She's a nice person. She's too nice. Sampuri, it's very easy for someone to take advantage of her. That's why I'm always want to be careful not to take advantage of her. She's too nice. Actually, I need to call her. I need to call my sister, Shaman. My sister. I was asking her, what should I give you? Because I don't want to, I don't want to be someone who just tech, 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 tech. I also want to give, 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 give. What can I give you? Let me call her. I think maybe she has night shift. Because if you see Shamim not, Shamim is not on live, then she's not here. She's nowhere to be seen. Because every time I'm on live, she's on live as well. She's watching. But seems like she's not home. Or even if she's home, maybe she's come back from shift and she's tired. Maybe she's sleeping because she's a nurse. Mm -mm -mm. No. Shamim is not is not available. She'll find my call and maybe she'll call later. I can see that she was live in the daytime, but maybe she's gone to work. But I wanted to call her. You guys, I think this this live is fresh. It's finished. It's already one hour, amen. Let me see. What? What? Have you heard from Daisy too much salt rises your blood pressure? Have a blessed day. Yeah, I try not to have salt. No, I haven't heard from Daisy. Even Ruby, even friends and family can be jealous. Do you believe in, in being low-key or brocation about one's achievement in education and business what does what does loki or bro brocation what does brocation mean brocation brocation what does brocation mean can somebody educate me bro question what does that mean you guys i told you to do a business card Regarding my salon, uh, no, I don't want to do a business card. Maybe, no, I don't want to. Guys, I don't want to expend more money than I have already spent. Let the money come back first. <laughs> then I will spend more money. I think Meleangui was so irritated, my scalp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, 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 irritated. Violet has a phone, a new phone. <laughs> because of YouTube. It's something to be celebrated, right? <laughs> Quali, they've not seen her. Yes, maybe. Some have not seen her. Anywho, I am just being happy for her because she's got a new phone. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm not a jealous person. I don't I, I think everyone is jealous. Everyone have a jealousy tendency in this life. You cannot say you're not a jealous person. But it depends with the where you can you can go with your jealousy. It depends with how far you can go with your jealousy. For me, I don't think I'll be jealous about people's achievements. Like they've got a car, they've got a nice house, they've got a, a good husband, they have 
they got pregnant. I, I don't I don't think those things I want to be jealous about. I, I'm not because I believe that that I don't know. I'm not jealous about this kind of things. But I can say one thing for sure because I'm contented with what I have with my lot in life, whatever God has blessed me with, whatever God has given me, I'm always reminded of where I came from. And when I see where I am now, I, I owe it to God. So I'm always very grateful. So I don't see the need of um, of being jealous. And also, also at times, especially you guys, sometimes you get tempted to feel like, well, what's, what, the, what the heck? Especially because the first few weeks when I opened my business, you guys, I had one, two, three, three days, maybe I had no clients two days in a row. And I was so worried. I was like, is, is this how it is always going to be? Huh? Meanwhile, I saw my, my, my competitors, my, my neighbors, they were having clients like, like crazy some were even queuing so it is just normal for someone to feel a bit oh my goodness am i like i was questioning myself i was asking myself did i do the right thing to open my my you know my nail spa where i opened it am i you know and then i just said you know what it is what it is you know what's mine will be mine because even sometimes I advertise on 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 Facebook page, like we have uh, this estate have the estate that I stay in. We have a Facebook page. I advertised there wa wa twice. I got clients. I I advertised twice. I got clients. I got a lady and her mom. She came, and then I got another lady who came for. She wanted feet hands and then also her teenage daughter she, she came so they they did three services so also advertising there because one client is the one who told me actually uh, there's this page that you need to advertise on as well and you know from word of mouth and the clients are also giving me an idea or of how to boost and how to become you know especially because they were saying that you need someone because Ladies are very impatient. Sometimes I'm alone. I'm probably I'm busy scrubbing one feet, and two people just come in straight away. The same time that I'm busy, they say I want this done, and if they see that you're too busy, they just go. So the client was telling me, "You need you need someone because otherwise those ladies could could have had someone working on them instead of them leaving." I can count up to five people that left because I had um, I was alone. So um, unrelated question. Ruby, open a separate social media for your business so that you don't get weirdos on your place of work. Exactly. Exactly. This is the reason why I don't I do not want to actually advertise my place of work here. Here on the social media because I have very much weird people some weird people following me. Watching from Serbia, it is 8 o'clock. I'm sure now it's winter in, in Serbia. I'm not I'm I'm not missing it. Uh try apple cider vinegar for your scalp. It helps. Right now, right now my scalp is um, get silent. Right now my scalp is just irritated because it was pulled. Otherwise, it's it's clean. It's just um, itchy because it was pulled. My scalp is itchy. It's not dirty. I tried also apple cider vinegar, but I have a good cream that helps. A good a good um, cream, anti dandruff cream oh hmm. it is spring in in serbia oh amazing beautiful 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 
Uh, I told you do a business card. I've read that. Um, hmm. Kula kabisa hata mimi na kula be ugali na nyama choma. Very good. <laughs> uh, ah, she's talking about, thank you so much, Elle, for the, for the super chat. You are talking about, um, about Violet. Uh, yeah, Violet now wants to come and, 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 and learn. She wants to learn. So probably I'm going to let her undo my nails, this side, and then I'm going to teach her slowly by slowly. Because she needs to find, for you to learn, you need people. So maybe I'm going to, I'm going to find her people to learn on for free, people to be done nails for free for her to learn. Because you know she cannot be watching me doing people. Nobody wants to stand over their shoulder with, with this corona, you know? Nobody wants to, she cannot be standing next to there while I'm doing somebody's nails so that she can observe. No. It's raining outside. Ah. See, I forgot to bring my, my face wipe. Now what am I going to wipe my face with? This is the reason, the reason why I hate putting makeup. <laughs> um, competition is good in business. It's good for business. Ruby, even friends and family can be jealous. Uh, do you believe? I want to know about this uh, Loki and not letting people know you are doing well in terms of one's achievement in education and business. Yes, there is a lady, a very young girl. She was telling me that, that um, her relatives, she's a very bright student, extremely bright. She is an A, straight A student. She's a Harvard, Harvard type of a girl. And because of that, <clears throat> drama, okay? Drama, family members. Like, uh, they made for her so much drama. So, of course, they believe in these things because she almost died in a very a very tough, tough road accident. Simply because someone, like, you know, like when you are so excited about your daughter is, is, is having A's and all that. So the father used to share with family. Share, 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 share. Then one of the family members, I don't know, some family members were not happy. So she, he even shared that she was going to university to become a doctor. That is when she was supposed to be sitting her exam. She had a very terrible road accident. Then, of course, they believe that somebody is not happy about her achievements. Then now she, 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 she her mom, her mom is very, is very cautious about this kind of things because her mom have a, they have a history of, you know, not getting along. People are jealous. People are trying to destroy her marriage. I mean, people within her family. So she knows that she's not really um, in good hands. Nobody, you cannot trust anybody in that family. She knows. So the mom kept things now. She keep things so private. That girl is Everything is private. No picture, no nothing, no advertising, anything. They lead in silence. So if you, you just need to learn your, the kind of family that you're dealing with. If you know that, that they, they don't have good intentions, it's good for you to, to keep your things to yourself. And plus there are people who will say, oh yeah, yeah, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Good, 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 but. And also another one, also, like I always have, I always talk to such people. I don't know. They just find their way around me and, and tell me these stories. There was, she, was, she also have drama. She also have drama in, 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 in her family. A big, 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 big drama. And she was telling me that, that her daughter married a very rich man, okay? 
an extremely rich man. And at first, they were very skeptical about this man. But the daughter fell in love and left home. They said, you know, you cannot just leave home like that. Left home, yada, yada, eventually got married. You know, like they were married where the labola was done. You know, the one that they take cow and dowry and whatnot, that was done. And then the mother was telling me that I, we had a very, very, because that is her elder, elder daughter. They had a very big uh, sherehe celebration. But the people who are celebrating with them who came to celebrate to witness, she said that some people um, gave the, instead of giving blessing, they gave a curse. Mm. So this lady went to get married as in, in a sense, even people from church came to the, to the what is it called? So this uh, giving the lady away like a wedding, sort of small wedding. And those people from church, they were, they were saying, they don't understand why people who who are who are already uh, doing well in life are the only the ones who are always getting blessed. Now this lady has gotten a very very, very nice husband. Anyway, to cut the long story short, the marriage did not last. The marriage did not last. The mother-in-law hated this girl like crazy. So the mother-in-law is the one. She, she says everything in her son's life. If she says bend down, the son bends. If she says the son, even if in the middle of the night she can call the son and the son will run out of the house and go to her, his mother. Mother's boy. And the son does everything, including buy a house to the mom, do everything, which is okay. But again, there's some which is a little bit too, too manipulative. And the, the, this lady now was telling me but the mother-in-law uses a lot of traditional medicine. If anybody gets sick, she always runs to the traditional doctor. So they don't, they never go to the hospital. They use traditional medicine, everything. So this lady, of course, knew that this woman is, is uh, practicing witchcraft or whatnot. So she made sure that she made sure that she didn't like her. So the, has, the, 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 the son had to marry another wife. Had to marry another wife. So this lady... Why is this noise? I don't like this noise. This lady is now, as we speak, in her mother's house. And she had a child from this marriage. So she's very unhappy. A lot of stories. But they somehow blame it on the mother-in-law. But you guys, apart from this mother-in-law issue and whatnot, I feel like there's a lot of things. I don't want to give you guys too much stories regarding this because I know probably these people are watching my video. So I don't want to talk too much. But I feel like some of these things are probably generational curses that are coming back to haunt us, to haunt the children. The, even the parents, they need to, they need to look at their trend and that like they need to look at what did they do because in the family where there's no love and people are like uh, against each other's success you never know what someone can do even even the person who thinks that people are after them they can go to the witch doctor also to protect themselves to make sure that nothing happens if someone tried to throw an arrow to them it doesn't reach them they can go to go get a charm of protection. This also is unacceptable before God. Huh? I say to myself, me, I will leave this earth before, if, before practicing witchcraft. I do not like these witchcraft activities. If it had to be that I have to go ahead because I have to go to the witch, 
let me become poor for the rest of my life. I don't, I don't, I do not like witchcraft things. I don't like. I, I now I'm sitting, I'm sitting knowing that actually my wealth I accumulated it from from witchcraft. <laughs> I cannot even sleep in that house. Hmm? How? How I will start? I will start sleeping. I cannot. And you know this witchcraft thing is always people influence each other. A lady. For example, I don't have a husband, right? So someone will say to me, my girl, you don't have a husband. Come, let me take you somewhere. Someone will pray for you because this, your husbandless situation must be, there's something about it. Yes, you need to, you, I need to take you. Hmm? <laughs> One lady was telling me, I have to tell you this because it's funny. A lady was telling me, because, you know, people always get shocked when I tell them I don't have children. So they were, she was saying, you don't have children? How come? Of course, she's probably my age mate because she has two kids. One of her, her, her son is also a teenager now. Of course, I'm old enough to have give birth to a, a teenager, you know. So um, she, she, I don't have children. So she's telling me, ah, you don't have children? How come? You know, in Kenya, in Kenya, there is this, uh, what is it called? Um, the society expects you to have children by a certain age. If you don't have children, something is terribly not right with you. Why you don't have children? Like it's, 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 um, it's an achievement to have a child. Forget a husband. Husband you can have, you cannot have. A lot of people don't have, don't really have husbands, but they have children. Like a child is a very much like it doesn't matter if this child doesn't have anything to eat but you have a child it's a it's an achievement in here in, in africa in kenya specifically so if you are in your 30s and you still don't have a child i people are sad, sad i you see her like i jesus yawa why she don't have a child hmm? this is not very normal why she don't have a child so this lady <laughs> men are so many why i don't have a child what excuse do i have that i don't have a child eh? so this lady was calling me and now she was questioning me because she thought daisy was my child i told her no that's not my child that's my sister's child and then she said what about your child i said no i don't have a child ah you don't have a child how come you don't have a child i said i don't have i just don't have it just never happened and then she said men are finished <laughs> huh? Even if it is somebody's husband, why don't you pick up even somebody's husband to have a child? She was, <laughs> she was very serious. She said, hey, time is passing. Huh? You are getting old now. And she's very, she's lecturing me. You are getting old now. Your, your body will, your, your biological window will pass soon. Grab any man now. I, I, you don't have time. Grab even somebody's husband. They are, they are passing, many of them are here. I was laughing my ass and I was saying, are you serious, you know? Are you serious? I said to her, you know what? And then I, I, I say, you know, you need to calm down. I need to tell you something. Listen, I come from, from a family that has generational turmoil, okay? And the turmoil has followed children from generation to generation. Now, I don't want... The, 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 the turmoil or whatnot, all this brokenness to continue with my generation. I want it to end with me, okay? So I'm not going to bring a child into this world just for the sake of having one. Like because I am actually um, competing with the society. I need to prove a point that my womb is capable of bringing a child into this world. I don't do that. To an extent that I need somebody's husband to make me pregnant so that I can, I can have a child of my own. I say to her, what manner of nonsense is this that you're telling me now? Uh -uh. You, you have a husband. And then she was telling me, you know I have a husband, but I regret it. <laughs> I say, how come you regret it? You know, I married this man when I was young. I should have married a richer man, you know? Even now, if I find a rich man, I leave my husband. I say to her, my God. She's, <laughs> she's just funny. But I feel like, oh, hello. You know, hello. Yeah, I feel like she's just talking for the sake of talking. Because she has her husband for so long. 
but she feels like she can talk and say all these things. I was just like, what is this lady talking, you know? So she was just having banter and talking nonsense, to be honest. So I was just telling her, you know what? I feel like people should be contented with whatever they have. For me, if I have a child by the right time or I don't have a child, I don't care. I don't care. There's a way that God just makes you feel the need to be content and be okay, right? Because you cannot stress yourself over things that you cannot, you have no control over. I cannot. If it happened that I happened, I don't want to do, like, I don't want to get married because people, I must. I don't have to, right? If it came today and I found somebody potential who wants to get married and a really, really potential guy, leave this naysayers, this passes by men, bullshit men who are bullshitting around here. These are boys. They have not carried their balls like this. You know, this have, but <laughs> majority of these men, if they put their heads like this, their balls don't fit. These are not men. These are small boys. Forget this one. There are very many, many men like this. So these are the ones, the ones that are, are, are very available, you know? They are always uh, very bullshitting. These men who did not, did not, did not have proper, proper upbringing. This, what the manner of these men? What men are these? This is not men, this boys. This is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about real man. Wule mwenye ametosha mboga. You know the one who, who actually hold uh, is enough. Mm, you know what I mean. I don't want to be vulgar on this video. But anyway, you guys, you understand what I mean. And also the people who come here on my channel, and then they hear me talking about these issues and whatnot, uh, and then they feel like they sh can come and manipulate me and think that that I will, I will enter box very easily. And they will come and lie to me and say, I will buy you a Lamborghini. I will buy you a Mercedes Benz. I will make you my wife. I will blah, blah, blah. There's another one who was promising to buy me an aeroplane. Where is that aeroplane? <laughs> <laughs> this person is probably in their mother's basement. Yeah. But they are very, very, very comfortable computer in the, in the keyboard. They are saying that they can buy me. They, 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 they have aeroplane. Bullshit. I cannot. So a lot of these things are just like um are just like nonsense. People just be talking nonsense. Uh I want to read from you guys because I've seen a couple of people have come have come around. Mm. Rachel Mwedwa Ruby, did you lose friends when you opened the nail salon? No. No, I haven't lost any friends because I don't have friends to lose here in Kenya. Like, I I was away for for so many years. People have moved on. I have one lady that we've, we are keeping in contact. Actually, today she was in my shop. She passes by sometimes. She don't do nails. She really don't do them. She doesn't do them. But... She just passes by to say hello to me and all that and to just sit and chat a little bit and go about her business. I know her. She lives around here. This is the only lady that I can say, uh, Nairobi, I have someone that I, I don't know, I've called a friend or something like that. But um, I don't have really. Um, maybe now that I'm trying to make friends, I don't know. I'm trying to make friends, but... At my age, I'm very skeptical about people. I'm very choosy. Let me not say skeptical. I'm a quite choosy. Um, so it's just like, hey, hey, hello, hello. <laughs> laugh, laugh, and then go away. Go to your house. I go to my house. That's all. So, but friends, friends, people are very questionable. People are extremely questionable. I have some questionable people around me. So I have to be careful, guys. Mm? So, um... I didn't lose any friends that I know about. Um, someone is saying, put flyers up in your area. If that's allowed, yes, it's allowed. Remove your makeup and with coconut oil. I break I break out with coconut oil like crazy. Excuse me, because I'm in here. Because I carried them to the shop and I forgot to bring them home with me. The, the wipes. I've carried all my, my makeup removal wipes. 
including the one that my friend from uh, from uh, Taiwan got me. Um, let me read something. Uh, oh, that's so, so sad. It's sad that your family can be bad due to jealousy. It's best to keep quiet as people poison each other. Uh, yes, exactly. Exactly. Especially if they find out that, because this lady, she was saying to me, one lady was telling me that in her family, they didn't, her mother was not welcome. Okay, when she went to get married in that family, she was not welcome. Simply because, according to them, they are not, she's not educated. You know, she doesn't have any education whatsoever. But her father loved her, loved her. And they started from, from long, long, long time ago when even this, this man didn't have money, right? To an extent, this man took her mother to school, la, 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 and all that. And her mother, you know, kind of catch up in life. And the father now is very well off, uh, absolutely well off. But the family, this man's family hate this woman for the sake of they don't feel like this woman does not deserve to have this man, okay? So they, they don't like her. So they've always been fighting her, witchcraft, uh, bewitching her, bewitching her children. And also she gave birth and her child died, you know, like one of the, the people who, uh, who are like her, her father's her husband's relatives like um, came to see her child in the hospital when she gave birth. She gave them word that, that she had given birth to a, a son. And uh, when they went to the hospital, the minute they left, the child died. The child was okay. But the minute they left, she was just telling me that I had given birth to a healthy boy. No complication, no nothing. But this person came, visited her, and then the minute she left, a cat, a cat stood on the window of her hospital window, you know, where she was with the child. And then the cat cried very loudly, and the cat sped off, ran away. This lady was like chasing the cat because it was very strange. And then the cat cried very like a very weird cry after this lady left. And then this, this woman, she was just cradling her child, cutting her child. Her child just died, just died abruptly like that. So from then onwards, she started, she knew that something is really up, right? So she started keeping her things to herself. Totally, totally keeping her things to herself. To an extent, they were so jealous of her because they were saying that because she's not educated, her children are dunderheads. And believe you me, her children are not dunderheads. That is one of the girls who, who is a straight A, is a straight A student, okay? She's not a dunderhead. So they are like um, saying, that, saying all this manner of nonsense, right? But this is family, this is blood. But this lady has chosen to keep her family encapsulated, okay? So she's trying to protect everything. So everything is amongst them. Nothing gets out. Nothing gets out. Because she knows who, who they are, the kind of people they are dealing with. So believe you me, somebody can be jealous of, of, of the success within your family. To, to an extent, because people usually think that these things don't exist, but they exist here in Kenya. They really do. If you hear stories, you sit down and, and say, what is, is crazy? And I know that some, someone was also talking about this witchcraft issue. Yes, it exists, but I don't want to pay attention to it, okay? So long as God knows my heart, I'm not practicing any witchcraft. I'm not going to any jujus. I'm not going to any spell casters or whatnot. I am not going there. Me, I only trust God with my whatever I have in my life. So who, whoever feels the need to bewitch or to do whatnot, they can do it. But eventually it will go back to them. It shall not be well with them. So me, I am, I am, I say to myself. I know that people usually say, oh, witchcraft or this witchcraft or whatever your parents did, whatever is following you, is following you. It's okay. 
you know, it's okay. So long as me, I know myself and I know that I'm not doing anything stupid to gain whatever I have in my life, I am not worried about these kind of things, you know. But I have to, you have to be careful to keep, keep your, your things to yourself. Don't be so open because me, I was, I was so open. I want people to come around me. I want even people who are not happy for me, who are not people who who just don't see why I am where I am now. Why? 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 You know. So I think it's very necessary for you to protect your boundary. It's necessary for you to lead in silence. Don't advertise and don't be bringing people in your space unnecessarily, especially people whom whom you really don't know about their uh, their their character and their personality. People are wicked out here. Just be careful. So um, and for me, when I was given that story, I was just like, you know, you need to cover. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Subhanallah. You, this she I say Subhanallah. <laughs> it's very funny. She said she said Subhanallah. You know this Subhanallah is like what this guy say that they can buy for you aeroplane. This internet internet people are crazy. Honestly, mm, so happy for all these people who help you. <laughs> Kumbe kuna Muslims wazuri. Of course. For me, I've met good Muslims. More than I've met good Christians. I'm sorry to say, but it's true. I am sorry to say, I, but it's true, yeah. Wato. I've met good Muslims. More than I've met good Christians. Adira Maken. <laughs> I used to have a friend. Now she's in, 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 um, she's in UK. She was also a very good Muslim. She was my good friend in the Emirates. Her name is Leila. I, she's a very good girl. A very, 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 very clean heart. Very good girl. So yeah, some of them, some of them are good. The ones that I know I've come in encounter with are good. The Tamil could be mental health issues that afflict many people in societies, but most are in denial or don't know how to resolve the issues. Guys, the issues that people pass pass through in this life, uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to come, to come to you guys. There is this episode, I don't know, there is this, uh, there is this lady, it's a South African comedian, that usually posts a lot of, uh, like she usually asks questions, and then, uh, and then she tells people to narrate, like to talk, to talk about um, about uh, their experiences. You know, whether be it marriage, witchcraft, uh, uh, ghosts, uh, like just the things that are happening. So I usually like reading from them. So I feel like I think I'm gonna be. Sometimes I'm going to be coming here and reading some of these things so that we can hear people's perspectives, what is happening outside, outside other parts of African uh, continent so that you can hear. Because majority of the people who post stories, they post stories and they are anonymous. There is this lady who was saying, I think I posted on my community post. She wants, um, she used juju to bring about a certain man to love her. And this man was married. I think you guys, if you go on my community post, you must have read that. And she brought about him, she put a spell or a cast or, or whatnot. She put something in her in his drink as well. So now the guy has fallen in love with him, with her. But artificial love, okay? So now she's with this man. And I think she's gotten a baby and she wants, the more this man is glued to her, the more she wants to do more of this spell so that the man can be like never even thinking of leaving her. So now she's, she's aiming because she's, she got a son, but this time she's aiming at killing her son so that 
she can sacrifice. I don't know, man. People are crazy. So these are the kind of stories that um, these ladies, people in South Africa, are very deep, man. They are deep. The things that I hear from this page, absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Some of them, I even read them and they are like, I don't want to remember. They are very deep things. So I think sometimes I'm, I'm going to be coming live and I'll bring this topic so that we can we can read them, you know. We can just read them and, and we can listen to these things. They are very interesting. So anywho, guys, this laptop is going to die. I've left the nini upstairs. I need to wash my face. I feel dirty. I've been scrubbing feet. I need to wash my face. I need to go prepare for bed. I need to go prepare for bed. Exactly what does goes around eventually comes around if you go if you if you go to witchcraft it shall never be well with you all women who go for witchcraft and who accumulated whatever with witchcraft it has never been well with them if not them but it's their children and children's children and generation generation it's never well with them so that is what i know mm -hmm. so don't even go there leave it just leave it because if you really love your life and you really love, want well for your generation, don't. Don't go there. Kinyo nego luwaku juni again. Ito na niyo sampuwa diri ya wa. Atimena. No. No. Uh, maybe a lomba, the people who are women have seen have seen they have gardens out here. Mm -hmm. Ray Goulet says they, she, he loves my nails. Thank you very much. Rosa Tieno, exactly what goes around comes around eventually. Um, <laughs> Ruby, eat your food happily. I've just finished. Um, hmm. um, hmm. Tombi Musafiri is telling me to use something, soft clip. I don't have that thing for scratching my... Don't worry, my hand is actually clean. I've just washed when I wanted to eat food. My hands are clean. So... Um, Mchawi, Atalipa Pesa, ETC, Mbona Eye, Hana Pesa, Mbafu, Wote, Wachawi. <laughs> Sheila is saying that these witchcraft witches, they are always poor, but they they pray for you and they do this witch, witchcraft for you to become rich. But then they are always poor. So why don't you ask yourself why are witches always poor? Huh? Why can't they do their witchcraft so that the money can disappear in the bank? It's all scam. And the people who believe these things are very gullible. They are beyond gullible. And I don't like, I don't like this, uh, this personality of people thinking that they have to go to witchcraft for them to become something more. These are lazy people. They don't want to work. I'd rather scrub feet. Hmm? Another lady also came to me. Oh my God, I have stories today and my laptop is dying. You know, the stories I hear from these people whom I do their nails is very funny. One lady, she was saying to me, I don't know what she, she was doing her nails because she was going for some ladies, was get, some lady was actually getting married. So she was telling me, you know, she started talking negatively about marriage. You know, I don't believe in marriage. I don't really believe. I think nowadays marriage is, is a scam, lies, it's, it's bullshit. So then... Uh, she started talking to me and she was telling me that she was um she had a man and she had a baby with this man 
But the minute she got pregnant, this, this man disappeared. And she's very bitter and she hates this man a lot. She hates men from then onwards. Then now she was uh, selling, uh, she had wines in spirit shop. And one day she had a very frequent client who was drinking, 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 always there. And then one day uh, she left some people to look, to, 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 um, to sort of monitor her shop because she had gone somewhere. So a guy came, she, he always came and left his car in the nearby garage to come and drink there. So this is a very uh, uh, established man who is a big manager in a certain company and all that, a very responsible man and whatnot, as according to how she was talking. Then she said that this man refused to drink that day because he was saying that he can't drink when this, this lady is not around. So the lady was called and she came back. So when she came back, this guy actually now started professing his love for her and telling her, I've always loved you, la la la, what not, the bullshit. And then she tells this lady that she, he's married, but he loves, he loves this girl. And he said that his marriage is not working. He's actually getting separated and he doesn't love his wife anymore. All this that they usually say. Then this girl welcome, was telling me that you, you, you think I, I, I thought twice. I did not go for this man. I did not go searching for this man in his house. God brought this man to me. She used the name of God. God brought this man to me. And God saw I needed this man. This man left her, her wife for me, his wife for me. And he has children. And he's built his wife a, a comfortable home. He's paying for his children uh, academy, schools, very nice schools, and everything. And always buying shopping and everything is in, in his name. I mean, the wife, the wife doesn't like, lack anything. He's a responsible father. But this girl is saying, I don't like, you cannot blame me. That wife drove her husband away. And I rescued him. <laughs> so I was, I was, I was being a nurse. So I was listening to her stories. I was like, "Hey, really? Yeah, what? Hey, okay. Hey, so come on. You know me. I know how to make people talk." <laughs> so I was telling her, "Hey, Jesus, who could Wow, you You know. So she was telling me. The more I keep telling her, huh? <sighs> the more she keeps telling me that more because I keep getting, you know, excited with this story. Tell me more, tell me more. So the lady was saying that she's so lucky, she don't know. She don't even know. She don't even deserve that man. She says the man does everything for me. I don't lack anything. He picks me, he drops me, he he, he does whatever I want. He, 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 he does everything for me. I don't know who, how much is my rent. I don't know how much my, my housemaid is paid for. My son is going to the best academy school and his school fees is fully paid for. I have, you know, and now he, he's buying land for me and he wants us to build a, a house. And so I ask her, so when exactly, uh, when exactly did, you, did, did, did this start? She said, it's been two years now I'm with this man. Since he came to my house, he's never left. The man dissolved, like separated, not even, he's still married. He's a married man, even as we speak. Because in Kenya, divorce is not an easy thing. You don't just divorce. Hmm? People, majority of people don't divorce. They just separate. So this man is now having fun with this, this Kamba lady. And this lady, I ask her, ah, mommy. You didn't do anything, any witchcraft to, to take this man away from her, from the wife. I asked her for real, and I was laughing while asking, you know, for it to be a light question. And she said, no, I know I'm, I'm from Cumberland, but I did not. I swear I did not. God just brought this man to me. And I said, okay. Okay. She said, people, and you know, 
to her, this is a testimony. She very proudly tells people about this story. It's a testimony. It's very much raining, raining big. I like when it rains. It's nice when you when you ra raining and you're snuggling in the bed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. She wants to give me Udaku. She wants to give me a Udakua. But Udakua, she cannot give me on live. <laughs> so she has a story to tell me. <laughs> Violet has a story to tell me, but this live has to go off for her to talk. Anywho, guys, I need to listen to Violet's Udaku. Uh, the time all could be so i need to i need to let you guys go anywho guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video let me go and prepare for bed i need to have my beauty sleep i need to remove this makeup i feel like my face is 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 is, oh, is dirty i need to remove all this i'm not clean okay so i need to prepare myself for bed and i'll see you guys on my next video have a lovely day bye